Hello everyone, this is Brother David. I'm coming to you from the Worship Center here at North End Baptist Church. I think I've done most of my devotion uh, devotions each week from the Worship Center, so I think I'll start calling my part Devotions with Brother David from the Worship Center. Uh, interesting thought. Uh, this past week we were celebrating a lot of graduations and this coming Sunday, we'll have some celebrations here at North End Baptist Church for our graduating seniors. Uh, it's an interesting uh, dynamic of graduation really changed this year because of, of all the social distancing and things that had to take place to keep people safe from this virus. Uh, my neighbor across the street had a big blowout outside for his son that was graduating from high school. And they had a lot of food and games and entertainment for the kids uh, and for his son that graduated from, from high school. And I'm sure there'll be a time for him to remember. One thing about graduating is that a lot of kids who have spent for 12 years of their life in school, those kids are now ready to get out in the world and start applying what they've learned and earning a living. <coughs> and it seems like there's a, a thought in mind that now I stop learning and I start working but God never intended us to stop learning. I want to share a little bit from a devotion that I had this week uh, that was uh, written by Rick Warren at Saddle Baptist, uh, Saddleback Baptist Church in uh, California. His verse of scripture says, and it comes from Proverbs chapter 23, verse 12, Commit yourself to instruction, listen carefully to words of knowledge. Let me read that one more time. Commit yourself to instruction, listen carefully to words of knowledge. Your education really never stops. It, it just keeps on going on. He writes in this uh, article, he says, I've actually heard people say, I'm glad that I've finished education, so now I can start my career. Tell that one to God, and he'll laugh. Can you imagine God laughing? For some of us, I guess we're so pious to think that God doesn't laugh, but I think God laughs a lot. Uh, he has to, and... It's just part of the emotion that he put into us. And that's a, probably another devotional thought uh, down the road. God laughs. But think about this. I can start my career, tell that to God, and listen to God laugh. What is he saying? God has so much more he wants to teach you. You ever thought about that? Even at my age, at 68, God still has a lot to teach me from his word, from the fellowship of believers, from worship, from music, from Bible study, from ministry and missions, every gamut of life, which is, is the church, we have something to live for. I mean, something for, to learn from. So, Learning isn't just a stage of life, it's your life. It, that is, it, it's an ongoing thing every moment of every day we learn. God wants you to learn something new every day so you don't stop ever. It's in your best interest to do so. Lifelong learning will make you a better leader, a better parent, a better spouse, a better friend it'll make you more effective on your job and it brings both success and profit to life the bible says if an axe is dull its edge unsharpened more strength is needed 
but skill will bring success. And that's found in Ecclesiastes 10.10. 10. Ecclesiastes 10.10. 10. Let me read it one more time from God's Word. If an ax is dull, that is, it doesn't have a sharp edge, and then more strength is needed to do the work that you're doing with the ax. But skill will bring success. In other words, sharpen that ax, you'll get a whole lot more wood chopped. If you've got an ax with a dull blade and you're chopping wood, it'll take a lot more energy, and I've been there, to do the do job. If your ax is sharp, which represents skill in that verse, then it doesn't take as much effort. The Bible is saying to work smarter. Listen to this. The Bible is always instructing us to work smarter, not necessarily harder. You never waste time when you sharpen an ax. So I encourage you this week, find some way to learn something that sharpens you, whether it sharpens your knowledge, whether it sharpens your skills, whether it sharpens your ability to relate to others, whatever the case may be, learn be a person that learns each day. Set a goal for that. And you will grow as God's word tells us to. Oh, and by the way, don't forget, read your Bible. It's always a good source for growing and learning something new. Let me pray with you. Father in heaven, we thank you for giving us your word. It teaches us how to grow in you each day new insights, words that we've probably read before, but yet now mean something totally different to us. Father, we thank you for loving us so much that you want to talk to us each day and fellowship with us and help us to learn to be more like your son, Jesus Christ. In his name I pray, amen.